about some adventures. Come with us and learn together the lessons. What a beautiful spring day! Kids, look! A bunny! Is it the Easter bunny? Are you ready for the Easter egg hunt? For all the kids? Wow, what a weird machine! Is it to paint the eggs? One, two, three, four, and five! There are five eggs! And what colors will they be? Red? Yellow, blue, pink, and golden! It's the golden Easter egg, the most difficult to catch. Let's hide the eggs. Red one, inside the bush. Yellow one, hmm, behind the tree. Hmm. And the pink one, behind the mound of stones. Ha <laughs> ha, great, ready to play? Groovy's found an egg. It's a dinosaur egg? No, Groovy, it's an Easter egg. The Easter Bunny has hidden surprise eggs. Wow, a police car. The Easter egg hunt has started. Let's find all of them. Groovy's found an egg. There was a fire truck inside the red egg. And the rest of them? Where are they? The yellow one. Can you see it, kids? Tell Groovy where it is. That's it. The yellow egg was behind the tree. So cool. A yellow excavator toy. Kids? Do you see the pink egg? I know where it is. <laughs> no, Groovy, not there. The pink egg is behind that mound of stones. Cool, a racing car. There's one surprise egg left to find. The golden egg. Look, there it is. Catch it. Groovy has transformed into a superhero. Sure, he will be able to catch it now. You almost have it. Come on, Groovy. Phoebe was faster than you. Wow, a chocolate surprise egg. You deserve it. What a great teamwork. And what cool toys. Shall we go over what colors they are? 
The fire truck is exactly red. The excavator is yellow. The police car is, that's it, blue. The race car is pink. Don't eat too much chocolate and enjoy the spring. What a beautiful day to play soccer in the garden. Hey, Groovy, try to score a goal. Haha, <laughs> you have to aim better. What's wrong, kids? The ball is across the street. Children, no! You can't run so close to the road. It's very dangerous. I know, Phoebe, we have to cross the road to pick up the ball, but we need to follow some road safety rules first. Pops, help me explain it. First, look for a crosswalk. White stripes painted on the road surface connecting one side of the road with the other. It's also called zebra crossing because the lines look like zebra stripes. Second, wait until the traffic light marks green for pedestrians. The traffic light is a luminous sign that indicates who has priority to pass. It has two parts, one for cars and one for pedestrians. You have to look for the one with puppets. Red means stop and green means go. So when the light is on, we can cross. Third, look both ways before crossing to be sure no cars are coming. Fourth, wait for the cars to stop completely. All right, ready to cross for the ball? Let's follow the rules of road safety. First, look for a crosswalk. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. No, Groovy, not yet. Second, we have to wait until the traffic light marks green for pedestrians. Green lights is on. Third step, look both sides to be sure no cars are coming. And lastly, wait for the cars to stop completely. Now we are ready to cross the road. Go for the ball! Mission accomplished. We have rescued the ball. Let's go home to continue with the game. We have to cross again. Remember what we've learned. What? The traffic light is broken. Now we can't cross. We need the cars to stop. What can we do, kids? Groovy, will you help us? What should Groovy transform into to cross the road? A baby bottle? A red stop sign? Or a spider? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a red stop sign to cross the road. Remember, red means stop. When cars see it, they're forced to stop. But always look both ways and never cross if cars are coming. Well done, kids. Let's keep playing. Hey, kids, what's Pop say? Oh, he's right. They've left the door open. Very good, Groovy. Avoid dangerous situations is the best road safety advice. Great. What a beautiful day to play in the sandbox. <laughs> Groovy, that crab is so cute. Hmm, what smells so good? 
I'm sure it's something delicious. Watch out! Uh. Broccoli. That's what smelled so good. No, Groovy, you have to wait until everyone is at the table. Why don't you go find Phoebe? Phoebe, lunch is ready. Hurry up because Groovy is starving. Groovy, you have to help Phoebe get free. <laughs> I think that won't be enough. I don't know if any of these transformations will work. Wait, yes, a shovel is just what we need. We can tell how hungry Groovy is by how he runs. What's wrong, Phoebe? Don't you like broccoli? Broccoli tastes great, right, Groovy? Groovy, that's Phoebe's lunch. Phoebe, broccoli is really healthy. Don't you want to try it? I'm sure you're going to like it. Mm, Pops, help me explain to her how important it is to eat vegetables and fruits. Eating fruits and vegetables like broccoli is really important for our health. Fruits and veggies are our main source of nutrients to be strong and grow without stopping. We should eat five pieces of fruits and veggies a day. Groovy eats more than five. For sure, <laughs> and you kids, do you eat fruits and veggies daily? Phoebe, why won't you even try a little bit of this broccoli? Come on, if you only give it a chance, I'm sure you're gonna love it. Right, kids? Oh, Phoebe can't keep cycling because she's starving. Of course you haven't eaten your veggies. Now you have no strength. Wow, Groovy, that broccoli made you super strong. Don't worry, Phoebe, we can fix it later. But now, how are we going to get back home? I know, Groovy can help us. Groovy, can you help us? What should Groovy transform into to bring Phoebe and her broken tricycle home? Into a bouquet of flowers? A mop? Or tow truck? That's it! Groovy should transform into a tow truck to get back home. All right, kids. With this super tow truck, we'll be home in a minute. Look, Groovy, today's your lucky day. There's veggies for dinner, too. I'm sorry, Phoebe. Come on, Phoebe, try it. Surely they're delicious. Daddy cooks really well. See? I'm not lying. Veggies are delicious. I can't believe it. <laughs> she liked them so much that she's also eaten Groovy's dinner.
<laughs> Don't worry. Groovy, there's more for you. You can repeat veggies as many times as you want. How well have you eaten dinner? With all these veggies, you'll have energy to play non-stop. Wow, those fresh fruit ice creams look really good. Delicious. Mmm, Phoebe's ice cream has two strawberry balls and groovies. One, two, three, four, five balls of different fruit. So greedy. Be careful, Groovy. Oh, too bad. Ha <laughs> Groovy. It's not the wave's fault. Groovy, that's Phoebe's ice cream. She has to decide if she wants to share it with you or not. Very good, Phoebe. You should always share with your friends. Now you can both enjoy your fresh and healthy ice cream. Mmm. No. And now, keep enjoying the beach with friends. What a beautiful day to play at the beach. No, Groovy, you can't just leave the waste there. Even if it's not yours, you should throw it into the container. Awful. The beach is full of garbage. We can't allow it, children. We should do something. Right, Pops? Our planet is in danger because humans won't stop polluting. Garbage can't be thrown anywhere. It must be thrown into the container. Also, we must recycle, throwing each bottle into their container green bottles inside the green container, blue bottles inside the blue container, and red ones inside the red container. Come on, children, let's recycle all together. In which container should these bottles be thrown? Really good, Phoebe. Well done. The blue bottle goes inside the blue container. No, Groovy. The red bottle doesn't go inside the blue container. In which one, children? Exactly. Inside the red one. I have an idea to clean the beach. Why don't we have a competition between Phoebe and Groovy to see who is faster picking up bottles? Do you accept the challenge? The game is very easy. There are five bottles in each field. Phoebe and Groovy have to collect and recycle them correctly. Understood? Ready, set, go. The two players get the bottle. Phoebe dunks her own correctly, but Groovy fails. Oh no, you have to pick it up again. Phoebe takes the lead ahead of Groovy, who has now correctly slammed his bottle. Phoebe goes for a third bottle, while Groovy goes for the second. It seems that the game is decided. Phoebe is going to win unless Groovy does something. Unbelievable! Groovy transforms into an octopus and advances positions. The game is not decided yet. The game is very even. Both players are going to dunk their last bottles, and the result is... Draw! Actually, we have all won because the beach has been cleaned. Thanks, kids. Oh, a giant wave. What's up? The wave has left the beach full of bottles again. 
children, we have a problem, a really big one. The sea is full of bottles, too. What can we do to collect them? Can you think of something? I know. Groovy can help us. What should Groovy transform into to collect the bottles? Pencil? A boat? Or a ball? That's it! Groovy should transform into a boat to collect the bottles. Come on, kids. Let's fish these bottles. Wow, the beach looks beautiful now that it's clean. We can continue enjoying this wonderful day. What a great idea. Celebrate it with fresh fruit juice. But kids, what do we have to do when it's finished? Exactly, recycle them. Very well, you have learned the lesson. The trash always to its container. Let's clean up the beach and don't forget to recycle the trash. dive and see coral and colorful fish. Look how beautiful the bottom of the sea is. What a nice clownfish. Hi, little friend. By little, if you practice, you'll end up swimming like a real fish. Oh, what is this disaster? It's horrible. The bottom of the sea looks like a dump. 
animals can't live like this. What was that, kids? To find out, we better follow it. I can't believe it! It's a mermaid! Let's follow her, kids! She's gone in there! Where is she gone? There she is! Poor thing! She's crying! Children, let's try to cheer her up. The mermaid is sad because her house, the bottom of the sea, is in serious danger because of the plastic. Plastic is lethal for poor marine animals. Isn't that right, Pops? Plastic containers that are not recycled end up in the sea and are a deadly trap for the poor fish who get caught in them or get poisoned by eating them. This disaster must be stopped. Children, shall we help the mermaid to clean up the bottom of the sea? Yes, that's how I like it. We help those who are in need. Don't worry, little mermaid. We'll help you. But children, how can we do it? There's a lot of plastic in the sea. We need something big, groovy. Can you think of anything? Children, what should Groovy transform into to collect as much plastic as possible? A pearl necklace? A submarine? Or a daisy? Yes, into a submarine. Fantastic! With this super submarine, we'll clean the bottom in no time. There's nothing like teamwork to go even faster. Bye-bye to that awful plastic. The fish are happy. And the sea is back to its original appearance. All right, kids. Great job. You've done a great job together. Congratulations. You have helped the mermaid and all the fish. The sea is now a better place, free of plastics. Goodbye, mermaid. We promise to recycle all the plastic at home so that it doesn't end up in our oceans. Right, children? <laughs> Remember, children, say no to throwing plastic away. Say yes to recycling it. What are you doing? Are you trying to say something? Oh yes, subscribe kids! Groovy the Martian, official channel.